Hello to all my lovely testers. In this video today, we're going to be going over Stalk. Uh, quick disclaimer here. Uh, this may not be the way that Stalk ends up being on the live server. This is phase four testing. We are testing a handful of elements of Stalk. Um, but we are generally trying to make Stalk useful in both small scale combat and large scale combat and have... Uh, a way to not only stay in stealth, but also pull people out of stealth that may or may not be uh, normal. But anyways, uh, all characters that have stock uh, have the tag ambusher, just basically letting them know that they can go into stealth. Um, all four hard specializations that use stealth all have the exact same stock ability. Uh, stock is a 2.5 second cast normally. Uh, it follows the normal um, cast time interrupt effects uh, that Interbellum has. So, for example, uh, if you get attacked while you are casting, the cast time can increase uh, based off of your pushback chance. So, as you can see here, this character right now, with the amount of weapon skill that he has, has a 56.3% chance whenever attacked to get uh, longer casts. So, that is one of the counters to... Stalk is that uh, while someone is trying to go into it, you can interrupt it. You also can just keep hitting them to make the cast time go longer. Uh, but Stalk is a movement skill that is mostly just used for things like uh, break loose. Uh, but whenever you go into Stalk, uh, you'll become invisible to enemies. Uh, originally, we were going to make that invisible to everybody, but we decided to go back to a more standard version uh you are 100 percent invisible uh no one will be able to see you like no enemies will be able to see you at all until you're out of stealth there is no like half visible half not until you get hit kind of stuff uh whenever you go into stock you gain 10 charges of stock with a maximum of 100 and this is mostly used to uh determine when you're going to be pulled out of stealth so while you're in stock Every, t every second you will lose 20 action points. You cannot gain action points while you're in stock. There is absolutely no way to gain, so you will just lose 20 over time. As you can see here, I might normally have 10 AP per second. That doesn't matter. I'm still losing 10 through the duration of stock. Uh, you also gain charges, two charges every second while you are in stock, uh, up to a maximum of 100. Uh, now, how do you get pulled out of stealth stalk right so whenever you get one you can obviously run out of action points right so whenever this runs out of ap uh i will be pulled out of stealth stealth lasts forever until you have one of the conditions that pulls you out so notice i ran out of ap and it pulls me out of stealth. all right um the other way that you can be pulled out of stealth is if you press any ability of course or if you run out of charges of stock so normally you start with 10 and you gain two every second. Well, you also target 10 enemies within 100 feet of you whenever you are in stalk every second. So whenever you gain those two charges, you're also uh, targeting other enemies. And they have a chance based off of their initiative to remove up to five charges of stalk from you. So if for each target, each target up to 10 that's within 100 feet of you, you lose one guaranteed stack per second, which means if you've got... 10, 10 enemies around you, you're getting negative 8 charges no matter what. Um, but if they have more initiative than you, that can go up to 5 stacks per second that's removed from you. Now, these 10 enemies are selected at random. Um, so, after you get to 10 enemies, the number of effects are... The number, bleh, the number of enemies around you will not diminish your ability to stay in stealth. And since stock is based off of a flat 20 action points per second, um, having max action points makes your stock last longer, right? So having max action points makes it last longer. Having higher initiative makes it less likely for you to be pulled out of stealth. Well, the initiative stat also gives max action points. So you can view the initiative stat as being the stat that makes your stealth better. Uh, same as enemies, the initiative stat while it gives you other, you know, these effects listed here, it also makes you better at seeing stealth. 
There's only one other uh, component that currently affects this, and that's the Eyes of Truth tactic. The Eyes of Truth, found on certain um, Elven casters at the moment, uh, will automatically remove five charges of stalk if you one of the ten enemies you target has the Eyes of Truth tactic. So basically, ally, enemies with the Eyes of Truth tactic will always make you lose stacks of stealth quicker than others. Uh, to, to show you an example, these barrels that are over here are actual enemies, so you'll notice that I'm currently gaining two per second, but as I get in range with them, that it starts going down, and we'll let that tick all the way down to show you that uh, you can, in fact, uh, be pulled out of stealth this way. And there you go. Pulls you out of stealth. Uh, now you'll notice that I'm gaining 40 stacks instead of 10 like the tooltip says, and that's because currently I've got a passive that increases the amount of initial charges for stock to 40. That costs 3 mastery points for me to get that. Uh, also, you have some other passives that affect stock, which are changed by the hard specialization that are equipping them. Obviously for swordsmen, you get this one right here that's been displayed on screen. Also, you'll notice this pink buff that's coming up whenever I use stock. Uh, Stalk says it has a cooldown, but it's not 100% how it works. It actually works by putting a uh, blocker on you, so you can't cast stealth again while you have the blocker. And the reason this blocker is here is for tactics like this, where you have a chance to reset the cooldown. So if you normally try to use stock while the blocker's up, it'll interrupt it, and it'll say immune, right? Um, but... For example, this class has a 33% chance whenever you use an execute, and I did not get it, to remove, okay, there you go, to remove that so that I can cast stock again. But as you notice, when I went into stock with low AP, it means that my stealth duration is less. So. To sum up, having more AP makes you stay in stealth longer. The duration of your stealth is based off of your maximum action points. Um, having higher initiative than enemies around you makes you makes them harder for you to pull out of stealth. Uh, you do not get pulled out of stealth whenever someone deals damage to you. It is only based off of this initiative check. And the person in stealth can see how effective their stealth is going up and down based off of their stock, uh, their stock cast or their stock charges, so they can determine if the enemy uh, is able to eventually see them. And it will happen pretty quickly if you've got enemies with higher initiative than you, especially if lots of enemies have higher initiative than you. Um, but yeah, that is how stealth is going to be working on the test over through phase four. And we'll probably get some tweaks and changes, but as long as it does what we're hoping that it does, I mean, it does work the way it's supposed to, but as long as we hope that, as long as it ends up with, like, the same kind of counter and play that we want it to have um, going into, you'll probably see this on the live server as well.